I really like the villains and the interactions between the villains and the heroes. The main villain was hilarious. I'm sorry, because he's just this nice guy. He's like, we could have helped you. I've seen the monster inside as he turns into a giant predator ripoff. Okay, I'm not going to say anything specifically, but I'm going to read one of the quotes from the IMDb quote page, okay? Okay. So this is after they've discovered the alien ship, right? Sean Barker, the Giver, has snuck in and, and ingratiated himself with the archaeologists, and he thinks that something funny is going on. Crane, who is the liaison for the company, which is a front for the Kronos organization, approaches him inside the deep, dark cave, and what follows is this speech. And Crane says, it's calling you, isn't it? Sean says, what do you mean? Calls me too. We are both the same children. And then Crane says, I know who you are. I know you're in pain. I'm like you. Sean says, I don't know what you're talking about. And then Crane continues, we are the bastards of uncaring parents. We've been violated. Our <laughs> lives have been changed against our will. Sean, I know what it's been like for you. For me, you've lost friends and lovers, haven't you? Uh, so have I. We're forced to live secret lives. Trust me. Okay. I have an entirely unfounded reputation for reading homosexual subtext into <laughs> all sorts of movie, whether it exists or not. But were you a little bit relieved that he just turned into a hideous fish monster and didn't just like strip off his clothing or anything like there? Oh, thank God. Thank God for that. <laughs> just imagine like Sean just was like, oh, oh, thank God. I, I totally thought you were coming on to me just now. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> You're just a hideous deep one from HP Lovecraft with a with a predator mandibles. Oh, what a relief. 